Girl Charlie Fabrics, Heather Peterson. I'm the uh, president and CEO. You can find us online at www.girlcharlie.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all the same, Girl Charlie. And I'm Mike Simonara. I'm the marketing manager at Janome, and you can find me at janome.com. Good. Okay. So we'll start off with an easy one. If you were a sewing superhero, what would your superpower be? Super surger, of course. Super surger? Be able to surge anything, anytime, anywhere. So you're able to surge at 1,200 stitches a minute. <laughs> exactly. And Maybe even faster. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Now, what's the first thing you remember sewing? Uh, that's easy. I was uh, pregnant with my daughter, Charlotte, and I couldn't find any maternity stuff that I liked, so I decided to go buy some fabric and sew up some pants. I stitched the legs together incorrectly. They were horrible, but I didn't let it stop me, and my love of sewing was born from there. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. We've heard that done is better than perfect. Do you believe in that? I do, yeah. Even though, I mean, I, I took a class and I was so frustrated, but then I also picked a, a project that had buttons and it was like a collared shirt, which probably is not a good first project. I've been there. Yeah, so I started very high. So just by um, tackling it myself and, and accomplishing it, even though it was incorrect, it was still satisfying. Excellent. Absolutely. Excellent. Now this may be the same answer, but tell us about your worst sewing disaster. Oh no, I've had a lot of those. Um, so Girl Charlie was a line of uh, dresses for little girls when it first started. So I tackled the production sewing myself um, and I've had some serious disasters with that. A lot of waste of money, a lot of waste of time uh, before I ended up getting help with that. But um, yeah, I think I ruined probably 30 some dresses Excellent. myself single-handedly. <sighs> I know, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so. Quickly, tell me the story behind Girl Charlie. Uh, so Girl Charlie was uh, born with my daughter, and um, I was in uh, corporate world and didn't want to go back to work. So i always been creative. I um, just kind of turned that into a love of sewing. Started a very small line of um, children's clothing that were all made with vintage fabrics. So I actually started on wovens. Um, and just kind of grew it from there. And um, I moved to California when my son was born, and that was 2006. Um, and then it just kind of got started with knits. Um, the economy tanked in 2008, and then I just kind of re, re like set myself at that point and just focused on the fabric side of it from then on. So then uh, Girl Charlie Fabrics was launched in 2010 and we just focus on knit fabrics and it's been really good for us. And you have great stuff. So Thank you. Very good, congratulations. Thank you. So Mike, does your sewing machine have a name? It does. What is this name? It's Chester. <laughs> Please explain. Sure. Uh, Chester was my best friend growing up mm -hmm. and um, when I moved away, I moved about an hour away, I missed Chester. And so I started sewing at 11 and I figured what's a good name? I miss Chester, so there you go. I named my sewing machine Chester. Off topic, but does Chester know that there's a sewing machine named after him? No, no, he certainly does <laughs> okay. not. I don't know if he would appreciate that or not. But. Right. Um, so tell me about the first time you used a Janome. Sure. First time I used a Janome was four years ago when I started working uh, here. And I was immediately amazed by how smooth and quiet it was. And that was the first thing that took me back. I would sew on other machines and they were loud, cumbersome a bit, mm -hmm. and then I watched how smooth the fabric went through, how even the stitches were, and I said, wow, this is a premier sewing machine. Absolutely. Um, maybe you've already answered this, but what is your favorite feature of a Janome? Sure. Favorite feature is truly AccuFeed. Mm -hmm. um, to sit and be able to sew layers of fabric, whether it's plaids or making a quilt, and making sure that the top and bottom feed evenly, that to me is so important, and something that I struggled with but then found using AccuFeed, it makes it much easier. Agree with that.